witnesses the sins that we think are secret. That's what this thing is all about. In order to build the nation of Israel back, guess what? Believe it or not, it starts with strong marriages. Go into slavery and they will be killed. But guess what? We're not doing it by our own hands. It's God Himself that's going to do it. How you doing, my brother? I feel like we talked to you before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what's your nationality? Hispanic and black. You know, that sounds confusing. It is, right? So, what was your father? Yes, sir. He was black. So you come from your father, you ask you what your father is, so you are considered as Judah according to the Bible. Right. Now, who all can be saved? Who all can be saved? Everyone. Why is that? Now, it, it's really it's really it all lines together, right? Who is that? Jesus Christ. You know, because you think that Jesus Christ, you think everybody can be saved? Watch this. Let me give Matthew 15, 24. Because Christ himself said, look, I only came from one nation of people. But if we understand what Christ actually looked like, what was his mission, we're, when, it, when it comes to that answer, we're like, oh, only one people, only one people can be saved. Yeah, it's long, bro, man. I'm David. I'm, what's your name? All right, Marcus. All right, so you said everybody can be saved. All right, can you provide me with a scripture where I could go in the Bible and read that? Oh, the first question. All right, do you believe in the Bible? So you believe in God and Jesus Christ? All right, um, um, so you read the Bible? Here and there. Okay, so you, so you said something profound. You said everybody can um, be saved, and you stepped out there. So I want to give me, um, to prove all things. See, the Bible tells us how to, all right, to move, all right, as men. All right, you a man on how old are you? 24, a young man. Ah, uh, but you a man nonetheless. All right, the Bible says this, listen to this. First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse 21. Prove all things. Um, do what? Prove all things. On the market, right? Um, what is Marcus supposed to do? Prove all things. So when you speak or you say something profound like you just said, you're supposed to be able to do what? Prove it. Now, according to the word of God. All right, if you cannot prove it, what does that make you? Uh, uh, hold, hold. Say it louder. Life. And I know you don't want to be alive, baby. Ah, because I don't want to be alive. All right, I'm saying... All right, no, God, you know, Jesus didn't come to save everybody, right? Got me, but you said contrary. So I just put us in a, um, a bind here, right? All right, and one of us has to be, uh, I'm the liar. All right, I'm going to give you the opportunity because you walked up on our, on the camp here. All right, and you said something profound out your mouth. And God heard it, the angels heard it, Jesus Christ heard it. So I'm gonna give you the opportunity to prove that. Now, um, according to the scripture, all right, and whatever scripture you give him, he will read it. You won't. Oh, um, you need the mic? Okay, what scripture you got? I don't think it's a scripture. Oh, wait a minute, my. Marcus, hey, hold on. Um, so do you want to go back on your words and just say that you're not sure that God on the loves everybody and on salvation is on the for everybody? Do you want to take that back or no? Ah, uh, because your words. All right, give me that on where every on idle word. 
on every idle word on. What scripture is that? All right, the Bible says that every on word out your mouth on will come into judgment one day. So, all right, I'm going to get you that scripture. Uh, do you get it? You got it? Uh, Matthew 12, 16. All right, uh, give me Matthew 12, 16. 36. Hey. 36. All right, 36. I want you to slide over just a little bit on it because I'm going to deal with the state. No. State of okay, the state of Alabama. Yeah. All right, are we dealing with markets. What's your name? My name is Swan. Swan? Yes, sir. All right, I'm David Swan. Oh, what's your name, sis? Trinity. All right, Trinity, I'm David. All right, I'm dealing with Marcus. Okay, Marcus had came up and he said, on the God on the loves every no. All right, and God said on the, on the Marcus said on the salvation is for everybody, right? Right. So. The, that's what you said on. Do you believe that? Salvation for right. Or the kingdom of heaven is for everybody. So you believe that? If you believe. If you believe. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't say it's for everybody, but if you think about it, the devil was in heaven. The so devil was in heaven? Okay, that's a little bit of, of to a lot of bit of Christianity mixed into that. Yeah. All right, Trinity. All right, is salvation for everybody? Yeah, I believe. All right, I'm going to ask y'all a plainer question. Okay, does God love everybody? Marcus, you, you said yeah too. All right, I already went through a little bit of that. All right, I'll read this scripture right quick. Oh, Matthew 12, 36, right? The book of Matthew, chapter 12 and verse 36. I want to listen. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So what's that mean? For every word you speak. So you said that God loves everybody. You did too on the markets, right? Again. So you got two against you. Well, I'm not even gonna say against you yet. All right, because I haven't proved it yet. The Bible says prove everything, right? And on you said it as well. All right, I'll go back to, uh, to prove everything in Thessalonians. Because I'm going to hold you accountable just like Marcus and Trinity is about to be held accountable. Okay, read this. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 21. Prove all things. Um, do what? Prove all things. So, to hold you accountable, what you said, you said that God loves everybody. Right? And Trinity said the same thing and Marcus said the same thing. Now, I'm going to ask you to do what according to the Bible? What are we supposed to do? Read it. Prove all things. You're wrong. Prove it. Do you give me a scripture where he can go to out of the word of God? On the, oh, because where do I find the words of God at? Uh, at what? And, and what? In, in the Bible. So the Bible is the word of God. All right, I can't go into heaven and talk to God. Um, but God gave us a, um, on a book. On where we can open it up and I'm gonna see all his words. So you said God loves everybody. Hold on, Trinity, hold on. Yeah, I all right, I got you. All right, I need a scripture. Yeah, because the Bible said the word of God said to prove that. Alright, so it's good. I'll talk. All right. No one. Alright, go ahead. I got it. Alright, be, be, be. all right, so um And then I'm gonna ask you, Marcus. I hope you're thinking. I'm gonna talk about first Samuel uh one and twenty. Got me first Samuel 1 to 20. That's uh, the scripture one in the pool? Uh, yeah, he can pull it. Pool. Got me first Samuel 1 and 20. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1 and verse 20. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come, about after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son, and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. Hold on, hold on. So the question was the original question, Marcus, was what? Um, does God love everybody? So how does that correlate with God loving uh, the Hittites and the Edomites 
and the Parasites and the Canaanites. Okay, go ahead, break it down, bro. break it down. Oh, and God loved on the Hannah so much. No, God loved him. God loved Right. So, no, 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 no. So this is talking about Hannah yes. and Samuel, yes. right? Yes. So those was Israelites. All right, on those wasn't the other nations at this point. Okay, right. I get what you asked. You did. Yeah, I get so, what you asked. So, so don't keep it in context now. All right, I get what you said. All right, so I'm trying to figure out on the where in this, on the verse, on the God is loving all the other nations. So are you about to break it down again? Uh, go ahead, break it down again. All right, so when you say the God of the Israelites and the Hamites, or the Perizzites, or the Hamites, or the Canaanites, okay. or the Edomites. Okay, okay. All right, uh, so I'm going to keep it in layman's terms. All right, the white man, or the African man, yeah. or the Chinese man, yeah. or the Japanese man, or the Arab man. Right? God, God, Lord. You, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you started wrong, because uh, you said you feel. I said, or, or I ain't even said, the Bible said prove it. So don't go off your feelings right now. Uh -huh. All right, it ain't a time for feelings. Okay. All right, this is time for proof. So, okay. I got a question. Has every nation been the world at one time? Pretty much. All right. All right, the Babylonians ran it. All right, the Syrians ran it. Mm -hmm. All right, the Persians and the Medes ran it. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, the Romans ran it. The Greeks ran it. And it's ran by the um, so-called white man Americans now. All right, the Israelites has ran it too. Yeah. Now, I'm a short period of time on the boat, we ran it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give you something too. I'm gonna say something. All right, All right I'm gonna say that God, he don't love everybody. Why you feel that? So what you supposed to tell me, according to the Bible? Should I be able to prove that? Huh? Oh, you said that bold. I asked you first to prove what you said. So does God love everybody? Yeah. Prove it. You gave me a son, man. Huh? He gave us a son. He gave who a son? He gave him a son. Samuel. Yes. An Israelite. Yes. He was part of the priesthood. Yes. Right. So that's an Israelite. Okay. So that's just showing that God on the still loves the Israelite. All right, I'm gonna say God loves the Israelites. What does it? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.